welcome to my video. I'm Planta Clara and today is about turning a oh, plant pot makeover. So turning a pot that maybe you don't like it anymore into something a bit more likable. I have painted this one pot long some time ago, a few months ago, and um, I'll show what the color uh, was before. So this used to be the color, so very bright, toxic, ugh, toxic um, waste color, <laughs> no, uh, toxic green, uh, the kind of green you see on high visibility vests. Now, so I simply just cleaned the pot and um, and uh, painted using chalk, using chalk paint. And here it is now, it's a white pot. So what else do you need? So you need your pots, uh, some brushes, can be simple brushes, can be specialist brushes, um, whatever, you, whatever you are comfortable, whatever you have on hand. Um, the specialist brushes could be quite expensive, so just use simple brush. You need chalk paint, some a little bit of water because some of the chalk paint uh, is good to dilute with a little bit of water. Um, you need this for opening the tins, something to stir the paint. I don't know, maybe scissors. We'll see if I need the scissors. I have some more uh, brushes. kitchen towel or eco-friendly kitchen towel um, and yeah you we can start shall we start with this one very very green and it's a glazed one so um yes yeah, so the uh, it's um so chalk paint should hold onto it let's try a color i don't have any uh, design in mind let's check this let's check this duck egg blue Opening the tin of paint. Ooh, I like this color. Ooh, or maybe not. I will see. Okay, so it's not exactly. What is that color? Dark egg blue. So it's not entirely green uh, that I was hoping, but yeah, a little bit of blue. Okay, let's crack on. A bit of steel. Actually, uh, well, it is a really dense, actually thick paint. I'll add a little bit of water, just a little bit. Oh, maybe even too much. Stir it, stir it. Ooh, might have added a little bit too much, but that's okay. And, uh, Stir it, stir it, stir, stir, stir. Wow, nice and smooth. Okay, let's crack on. Oh, I think it would be good to have a bit bigger brush than this one. Okay, but let's try with this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the inside as it is. I'm just going to paint the outside. It will probably require a few coats, maybe, maybe two, maximum three. Let's see. I'll show you in a moment what it looks like with one coat. Done. First coat. First coat done. Actually, quite like it. But as you can see, it's not very nice the first coat because you can still see some patches of green coming through. 
So let, let's uh, wait until this, the first coat dries out and let's crack on with the other ones. Okay, whilst the first one is drying, let's start with the other one, with the next pot and I'll handle this big monstrosity. I mean, uh, the monstrosity to me at the moment, but yes, I used to like this pot before. Who knows, maybe in five years time uh, I will regret painting it, but um, okay, let's try let's try let's try okay this one which is old it's kind of like a creamy color i paint with this one my uh some furniture so but there is still some a bit left okay let's do it Let's try some design. So um, let's take a few coats of this one and then uh, let's add some um, some stripes to the pot of different color. Okay. Hmm, should I use the big brush? Maybe it's time to use the big brush with this one. <laughs> Aha, I can use the big brush. Okay, running, running. With chalk paint, you should actually paint first coat and all the other coats quite thin so don't be don't try to cover um, the patches um, in one go just uh, again Again, as you can see, it's um, not very nice looking pot at the moment. <gasps> Lots of patches of purple. So, but this is our first coat. So let's now let it dry. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next pot, which is this one. Actually, shall I try it? I have this pinkish color or maybe the... I have Scandinavian pink or Antoinette. I kind of like the Scandinavian earthy color. So let's try with this one. Where's my tin opener? I like this color, but okay. The water. Stir it, stir it. Stir it, stir it. Ah. Do I like this pink? Scandinavian pink. Mm. Maybe my. I don't know. We'll see. So I have previously. I have used this brush before on the first pot. So I have clean. Uh, did clean it, and now I'm going to use this brush again on this pot. Okay, let's apply the first coat. Again, it's a glazed pot. It's very shiny. Okay, chop down. It's a bit pink to my liking. But you can see the first coat, you can see the still the green going coming through. 
let's leave it to dry. In the meantime, I'll check the first coat on the first pe uh, pot. What is the face? It's still wet, so it needs to dry. Um, the recommended drying time is about one hour, so yeah, I'll be back with you shortly. Now it's time to clean all the brushes so we can reuse them again later. The first coat is now dry. Let's see, it's nice and smooth and dry. And let's crack on with the second coat now. That was uh, the first pot was a blue egg, um, duck egg blue color. So let's open the tin again. Stir it again. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Let's let's paint. Oui. My brush is still wet from the previous uh, clean. I'll just dry it a little bit with the uh, kitchen towel and let's crack on. Second coat. might be enough just two coats it's kind of um, grayish color kind of gray mixed with blue I would say kind of nice and smooth and uh, delicate color okay next one was um, the let me close this one first and then let's go back to so the big pot was painted with this color so okay and the edges of it much better okay now the last the third pot which is this one and I used the that was Scandinavian pink color so let's leave this brush away let's close this thing so the paint doesn't dry out okay I think all the way that I went all the way around. Now just the edges. The edge. Oh, yeah. oh I've painted this one by, uh, oh, by accident. <laughs> okay, so second coat done. Let's now wait to um, for the coat to dry and then we can assess and check whether the third coat is needed or not. Hello, I'm back. So it's been over one hour. The first pot has dried out, the other two are still drying. But as well I noticed that the first pot, I'm quite happy with two coats on the first pot. So whilst with the, those two I would need to apply a third coat. Whereas this one is good enough i think it has this matte effect so it's not very shiny so i have just started applying clear wax to it with the brush you, if you don't have a brush for wax then you can use just a cloth 
So the wax, uh, you don't have to use the wax because it's a pot. You don't uh, use pot like furniture that you keep bashing, putting stuff on a pot. Or, um, so it doesn't need that much protection, uh, painted, chalk painted pot. But um, yeah, that's the purpose of wax to add protection and as well, as well to add a little bit of a sheen. So it's a little bit more shiny than just matte. So that's what I'm doing. This brush is a little bit stiff. Okay, and now I'm going to just um, wipe the excess of the wax, wax off delicately. just gives this little bit extra shine effect okay job done my first part is done okay I'll close the lid of that wax <laughs> And now I'll move on to this spot, which needs actually third coat. And it's time for the third coat for the Scandinavian pink. So let's do this. Scandinavian pink. And these are the results of our pot transformation. I'm quite pleased with this one. It's actually, I'm not going to wax it. It actually has a nice, it's a pretty nice feel to touch, uh, feel actually when you touch it. This one I was planning to add some, um, some pattern. Maybe we can still do it, pattern to it. This one, um, it's nice color, although I think it did, did actually in the end needed third coat, but because I applied wax now, I just leave it uh, like it is now, as it is. So, shall we try and add some pattern to this one for a change? Um, like, we can use... Antoinette, we haven't tried Antoinette color. Antoinette. And let's open the tin. Maybe if I shake it. Oh yes! Wow! Oh wow! That's a quite a pretty color, although quite ice cream, ice cream like color. Okay, what pattern should we use? I'm not going to do any complicated pattern at all. <laughs> I don't have stencils with me and a stencil, so maybe we can just try to do stripes. Let's do it. So I'm stirring it. I have added some water as well on top of it. Let's try the stripes. Okay, 
okay. Ooh, a bit scary. Now I'm doing quite white stripes. I'm making. Great. So I didn't like purple, but actually it seems that I added another purple. Not entirely sure about the effect actually i think i would have preferred without the stripes but well so be it so it's try and error it's a little bit purple like this go okay now we have our three parts this of course will have to dry and that's the and that's that's the plant pot transformation makeover. Let's try. Let's add a plant to one of those. Here it is. And another one. enjoyed the plant pot transformation it's actually cache pot not plant pot because uh, apparently there's a distinction if it's a pot is um, the one that has a drainage hole in it and the and a pot without the drainage it's called cache pot thank you very much see you next time